So today I have yet another Halloween haul for you. I just quickly wanted to mention that I got this really cool um, pumpkin t-shirt from Asda. Now Asda don't have their like full Halloween range out but their like clothing section called George, they do have their Halloween like outfits out and their dressing up costumes and I got this t-shirt for five pounds and I'm pretty excited about it. Yesterday I went to Brighton for the day and while I was there I thought I'd do a little bit of essential Halloween shopping. Although I promised I wasn't gonna go to TK Maxx, I did actually have a look in the TK Maxx in Brighton. I was really like disappointed for the fact that they literally had the tiniest end of an aisle I'd ever seen and there was like absolutely nothing there I wanted. I thought being Brighton like one of the biggest shopping towns there is. I thought that they would definitely have some good Halloween stuff but there was absolutely nothing. I did go to Poundland and I also got some like other little Halloweeny bits but they were all kind of the same stuff as last year and the bits I got were just kind of little sort of stocking fillers as such to go in my Halloween boxes. However just before I was just about to get on the bus to go back to the car um, I went in HomeSense. It isn't a HomeSense like anywhere near where I live so I've never actually been in there before but I heard that it's pretty good around Halloween. Time. I walked through the door and there was a hole, like it was probably about four aisles worth of Halloween, pretty much was hyperventilating in the doorway. Something that I noticed like overwhelmingly when I went in is that the majority of the stuff that HomeSense sell is exactly the same as TK Maxx. They did have some other bits as well which I hadn't seen in TK Maxx but to be fair because their range was so large I wasn't like surprised that there was going to be some new bits. And of course it meant I bought some things. Things that I've been looking for from the literal first day that I heard that Halloween was coming into TK Maxx is a fruit bowl. Now it's this kind of metal fruit bowl with little bats around the outside. Now I really wanted the silver one with the black inside but I just couldn't find it anywhere. I've been to literally four TK Maxx's now. Cannot find it. Alas I had given up until I walked in to HomeSense. Did find the bowl I was after but it was in gold so I'll insert a picture of it now what it looked like when it was gold just not a gold person I prefer silver I just prefer any other color other than gold I like brass but for some reason gold I just don't like it so I got the gold one and I customized it as you can see from the photos and the bottom of the bat's feet um, this whole thing was gold the outside of the bowl was gold the bats themselves were gold and then the inside was black how it is here. Now, I was going to just spray paint the whole of this outside silver. I thought that would look quite nice. It would just look exactly the same as the other one. But the thing with these bats is they do have a lot of detail within them that looks slightly odd, I feel, in a metallic colour. I broke out my acrylic paints and I literally painted this last night. So as you can see, there are a few little bits that need touching up. Um, but I painted the whole of the kind of bowl section red and then the bats themselves I have just done black so you can really kind of see the detail within the bats and you can see like they are separate from the bowl it almost looks like the bats are kind of dancing in a circle and holding the bowl up this bowl was made of metal and I have to say I haven't actually used acrylic paint on a metal before, I wasn't quite so sure what to expect but honestly it was the best thing I've ever done because I put the acrylic paint onto the metal I got out my hair dryer I went and it just literally dried within a matter of seconds because the metal heated up and it kind of cooked it from the inside and the outside and it just dried so quickly and it dried really smoothly as well this is a really heavy bowl hence why i keep moving it around and it's a super good quality now, i've tried chipping off this paint and it doesn't seem to be leaving anywhere it was literally the basic acrylic paint from the works so it was nothing special but i am thinking of maybe like varnishing this with like a shiny after finish i can't quite tell because i do like the matte look with the shiny inside but I don't know if I should get like a matte sealant or like a shiny sealant. I'm so is this and it took me probably about 10 minutes to I do. Now have a bowl that I prefer even more than the one I was looking for. On the little tag it just says that it's crafted in India and this also cost me, I believe it was £15. So it wasn't too expensive for one, like the size of it, it's like bigger than my head and secondly the quality of it because it is a really heavy thick metal. Next thing I got, I'm so excited about. So I went into HomeSense, walked through the doors, I ventilated for about five minutes over all the Halloween aisles and then I collected my things. One thing I collected was a skull with a glittery bat on the top. I think it was like around £10 or something. So as I was walking to the till I saw the kitchen section and again I was 
slightly overwhelmed by all the things they had so I was kind of looking through the kitchen section and sitting right at the end was this and I was so excited I pretty much just swapped it for the bat on the skull thing because I love this I haven't seen it anywhere the bat thing I've seen in TK Maxx like countless times and because I haven't picked it up before it's like blatant to me that I didn't want it that much if I've seen it before and not picked it up but this I wanted straight away I have been continuously moaning this year that I haven't found enough black cat stuff so when I saw this I was like home sense understand me and I got this it is literally everything I love it has a pumpkin at the bottom it has a cat a black cat he has lovely like yellowy eyes he has a red bow which is my favorite color and a witchy hat. The only thing about this is that the hat is a little bit glittery but it is very subtly done and it's not like overly glittery. The cat himself isn't just one of these plain cats. He has loads of like definition within his fur as you can see and this is exactly what my kitten looks like. He is so fluffy. Even his tail is more fluffy than this but I love this one's tail. I keep holding it like this like a a teapot for some reason but I just love the detail within this. Granted his face is a tiny bit creepy he's got this big like scary smile um, but I just think he looks like there's this really kind of classic Halloween cat you've probably seen it a hundred times it's just like um it's just like an illustration of a cat I'll insert it now if I can find it. I love this cat like I want this printed on everything I own and for some reason this cat kind of reminded me of that kind of old vintage Halloween-y style. The pumpkin itself is also really nice. Did I forget how really nicely made the pumpkin is just because I'm too busy looking at the cat but the pumpkin is very happy which we love. He's got lots of nice teeth um, he also has these kind of curly bits here which remind me of like those moustaches and he's got kind of laughing eyes and inside he does actually have a light up light. Now firstly this is really easy to get into which I love because I hate it when you have to have like a screwdriver but it just takes three double A, double A batteries. The light itself is just literally there in the pumpkin so it will only light up the pumpkin face and not the cat. I'm not sure how much I'll be using this function just because I prefer to see the whole cat rather than just the little pumpkin face um, but I'm pretty excited and I was so happy when I found him. I can't think of a name for this cat so if any of you can think of a name for him please do leave it in the comments below because I think he just he needs a name because he's going to be living with me for the rest of time. Now the finalizing factor for buying this cat is that he cost £14.99. I think that is unbelievably cheap for the fact that I was going to buy a skull like this big with a little bat on it for £10. And he's not like an overly hollow light piece. He is really heavy. I can't hold him up for that long. He does have uh, a hollow body but he is made of a really kind of thick heavy plastic and he's just perfect. I can't think of any other way to describe him. The next thing I got was actually the first thing I saw when I walked in here and I did get these as a little kind of thing to add in my Halloween boxes and they are flannels. So I have been going mental in TK Maxx with like tea towels and dish cloths because I think that I can make so many nice things with when them. I saw these flannels I thought they were so cute of course they're in our Halloween colour and they've got these spiders on them and I just loved the fact that they are actually like properly embroidered onto the flannel. They had a few different stars but I just felt like the spiders looked the best and they do have a little kind of line of web that goes up. The only thing that slightly annoys me about it is that they don't have the right amount of legs. So they're kind of like spider mutants but I don't really mind that much and it's from a brand called Haunted House which I actually haven't seen in TK Maxx. As you can see though the labels are like exactly the same as TK Maxx and this cost £6.99 which at first I thought it was like a little bit expensive to pay £6.99 for some flannels. I realised like they're in this really nice kind of like fancy design. And the match of the fact is that there is six of them so I can have some, I can put some in my swap box and I'll even have some to spare. So now that I've shown you how they look, I just wanted to actually open it up and see what kind of size these I were. I have like an embroidered bat flannel, which I love. I got it from Christmas like last year. So I've kind of been looking out for some more kind of like Halloween-y flannels because I didn't know how much I needed them, but it just goes with my whole like stink theme. So I love it. So 
I'm pretty pleased with the size of it, it's quite big. The spider looks kind of small within the design, but I normally have my flannel like folded anyway, like that, when it's on my sink. Um, it does have this of label that kind of stuck out to me when I opened it, um, and it just says Haunted Home. It does say that it's 100% cotton, which is nice, so it means that it's lovely and soft, and it's going to be really easy to kind of like clean afterwards. It's really nicely finished off, it's been edged really, really well, and again, if you are kind of into like DIY sort of thing, you could make this into a tiny little cushion if you don't mind the feeling of like toweled material. So I'm really pleased with these and I'm sure I'll be getting loads of use out of them. The next thing I got is a decorational piece. Have seen these and heard that these are also in TK Maxx and is a plaque. It is exactly the same price as the one from TK Maxx as well. It was $3.99 and this is a bat plaque. I haven't seen this one before, I have bought a few plaques this year already, um, but I've been looking out for some kind of bat themed one and as all of you probably know by now, I absolutely love this kind of vintage style of bat illustration. On the top it says finest quality bat wings, then it has a kind of like x-ray like inverted bat and at the bottom it says for sale to licensed witches only and then it has kind of like a nice border it is just sort of plain like wood effect and then the inside is hollow they have like a lot of this kind of like placky thing around and they're kind of like slightly odd because you could hang them on the wall by like putting, putting like a nail or a screw or something and having it hung like that but i'm not sure how stable that would be so i think this is probably more for just like sitting and having stood up because it's kind of thick enough to hold its own weight it is just kind of like printed like transfer on the wood but it's quite a good quality and it cost 3.99 so it wasn't too expensive probably wouldn't normally spend that much on a plaque that was this size but I just thought bats and it kind of has like a witchy feel to it. I feel like it would just go really nicely kind of at the back of one of my odd t-shirts. The last things that I got from HomeSense are some little kind of wine charms. I have bought like a few different ones of these because they're going to be going into my Halloween swap boxes as kind of like little added like decorations because I like to wrap up my things like I'll wrap them in tissue paper but like a little bow around them and then I thought it'd be quite nice to like add a little charm onto a few of them so I got these um I actually got them for their intended purpose but I did get some as well to kind of decorate things and with and they are little glass wine decorations so i have some of these already i have them hung up um on my oddity shelves at the top so i just have them for decoration at the moment um but i found these ones which are kind of completely different to the ones i've already got so this circle bit of wire here it kind of unclips at the top which means you can really nicely like put it round the like long thin part of wine glass um and then they each have a different charm now i'm not sure why the bat is in a bat shape and the rest are like circular but i don't really mind too much i'm planning on keeping the bat anywhere because it's a bat um so it's got a little glass bat an eyeball a creepy little spider a black cat a ghost and a pumpkin these are a lovely quality they're really simple to put on they go together really really nicely and i feel like they'll look really pretty on a wine glass i'm actually going to try it out to see if it fits on there because this hoop looks quite small okay so i've got myself a wine glass so basically it goes round the bottom okay so it does go on quite nicely as you can see it just kind of hooks together and it hangs really nicely at the bottom of the glass it seems to be a great quality i love the fact that these are also glass as well so it kind of goes with the whole look and the reason why you have these little wine charms other than the fact that they look super cute is that it means if you are having like a party or you've got people over and you've got loads of glasses of wine everywhere if you just like tell everyone what charm they've got or let them choose their charm then if they put their wine glass down while they're going or someone's or taking all the glasses to go refill them with wine or whatever your chosen drink is um then you'll know whose glass is who i think this is more for people who have like plain wine glasses because all of mine have like different designs on them but it's definitely a cute little feature and you can use them for tons of things like i even considered using mine possibly as an earring or something so these cost 3.99 which again i thought it was a little bit overpriced 
but the fact that now I've opened them and I've seen how good quality they are made of glass, they've got nice little beads finishing them off. I'm really pleased with them and I'm sure I'll get lots of use out of them. So that is everything that I got from HomeSense. I absolutely loved it in there. I would definitely be going back again. Honestly, I'm really quite confused about the difference between HomeSense and TK Maxx because inside all of the products are pretty much the same. Even the receipt is like exactly the same, but it's printed out green instead of orange. I don't know what the dealio is with that. I don't know if they work together or they probably have like the same overall owner or something. I'm not complaining because I got some super cute stuff. If anyone knows what the deal is with that, please do let me know. The days are passing by way too quickly and I have less than a week before I'm going to be starting university. So you'll probably be seeing a bit less of me once I start. Near the university I'm going to there is a whole like retail park which is literally like quarter an hour down the road and it's literally on my way home and I know for a fact they have a home sense so hopefully like once I've kind of got into the swing of university and I've got a little bit of time on the way home I will pop in and see what it's like in an even bigger home sense because I feel like we're gonna have even more Halloween stuff. I hope you're having a spooky September. If you've got any questions or comments, please do leave them below. Please also leave a name for my cat because I cannot think of one for him. If it's this sunny where you are, I hope you're enjoying the shade and I will see you next time. Bye.